Hi everyone, greetings friends. It's the Jim and Dave and the Puff <laughs> and the Puff beer review. Why didn't you do this, Puff? I did ask you to come down and you did. Yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to get in there. It's like, You're awesome. oh, I got, yeah. yeah. This thing, yeah this so thing. here, we, what we have on tap today, people, is a beer from Evil Twin Brewing. Evil Twin Brewing. Yeah, it's called the Molotov Light. They do have a Molotov cocktail, but I guess this is a light beer. This version. is the light one. Yes. What do you think, Puff? Smell it? Back in the days, only uncomplicated <laughs> and tasteless beers excited the people starting and people started feeling bored before happy hour was up. Bored. Molotov Light is an understated tour de force and rebellious happiness. It's a subtle spark for action and yet by far one of the most anti-authoritative beers ever made by Evil Twin Brewing. It right. is an Imperial IPA. It is an Imperial IPA. It says this is exactly one pint. And it is ale brewed with natural flavors, it, which one site says it's their site. I don't like unnatural flavors, by the way. Their site says 8.0 APV. But the beer uh, menace menus says it's 8.5. Hmm. So I would so, go so more or less by the actual site itself than right. I would by them. But. Calories 250, wow, carbohydrates really? 22 grams, there? and uh, 2 grams of protein. That's well, more, is that a 16 ounce? This is one pint. Is that 16 ounce, right? One pint. You, is there, are you saying yes then? Yes, one pint is 16 ounces. You knew that. I did not. Okay. I, I say you did, you did. Things. You say, I say. You say, I say. You say? Ah, Puff, please. I say? Don't put your hair into my glass. Poor Puff. She's got a big ball mark over there when she comes with your foil. You know, she's got those. What are you saying? She, she has, has a ball, 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 ball mark from she had spot. There, and she had some crumpled up hair that was all knotted <coughs> up and everything. Yeah. All right, well, I can do a little oh, more. I here. can do a little more. Yes, 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 yes. So, what was the ABV on this? Eight point zero, according to their website. Eight point five, according to another website. But okay. I would go by the actual site itself. Instead of going to another site. Well, you know, we've we've had websites that yeah, didn't I'd match what was on the can. Yeah, I'd always buy 0.5 or something like that. I'd never buy more than Let's one. Let's see what's on the can. On the can, it says 8.5%. Then why does their website say 8.0? Another example of them People not... People catch up. Yeah, we'll have to... You know, even if we give this a bad review, I'm still going to tweet the link to this to them because they should know. That's not cool. you got to have your mat website in sync with your product. Yes. Absolutely so. And this is out of a camp, people, and I've learned re recently that um, yeah. through a, a uh, good person over there at King of Pressure Beer Outlet that ding, ding, ding. cats, I mean, that cans are now, <laughs> cats are now layered inside. Yeah, the cats are cats not layered, are layered on the inside. inside. I always thought cans were But they were do not have good. thick fur sometimes. <laughs> I thought cans were not good because they didn't have a, a, a coating inside the can, but apparently they do. Now, this looks a little bit more amber on the TV behind our camera. Yeah. This, uh, to me, it's actually looks very this. yellowy. This is very light on the SRM scale. Puff, leave some yellow. SRM. Um, it's nice. a little bit foggy, but it's generally clear. Um, I am seeing some carbonation going up there. Like a white head here. Very, like, almost a strawberry color. Puff, yes. I think we're ready to jump into it, my friend. Thank you. There's Sonia on your side. Cheers. Very sweet song. Oh, we didn't smell. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I smell an IPA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not heavy in the citrus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, a slight, no, excuse me, a, a slight citrus smell. Oh, no, it's low, very citrusy low, taste. Low, low, low fruity. All right, let's get into the taste. I'm sorry. That was like the pale ale I had this morning. Very, are you going to speak puff? You turned on Siri. <laughs> That's funny. There you go. It's Sonia, the beer cat. I told you she was coming. It's three hundred dollars. You want to pay for a new one, cat? No. Looks like I'm petting the beer here. Good beer. Good beer. But there's a cat behind there. Believe it or not, here. I'll yes. this over a little bit. I'm sorry, people with cat hair. I love cats, and I have ten of them at home. But I'm very beer guy. Very, cat very, guy. very love my cats. I would, roll my I would give up beer for my cats, and that's really, really a big thing. Nice. All right, well, this um, for an Imperial IPA, mm. this is uh, pretty good. I'm not a big Imperial IPA guy, but this, uh, 
a bit of a bitter finish, a long bitter aftertaste. I like this. And this is a light version. It stimulates apparently. my palate. Yeah, it's got a nice kind of tingle on the tongue too. Yes, yes, which, I um, like that. It awakens me. Yeah, this makes so... me feel good inside. It makes me feel all warm and toasty. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to describe mm. what the flavors uh... like. And there's a reference that you have to be back from the '70s to watch yes, TV in order to get. Yes, Mutley. Was that Mutley and the treats? That was Mutley. Back in the day of uh, uh, was the, the 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 wacky races. Wacky races, right? Yeah. Oh, Sony's looking up to you. Hello, Sony. This is such a beautiful cat. You were so beautiful. You are a sweet girl. Anyway, yeah, I really bitches, the cat it. says it's a clone. But yes, man. She, she's I like, think Sony's probably older though. Me. Yes, I have pictures of her where she was a tiny little impy. Mm. 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 So good on Imperial IPA. One of the better I ones. give this an eight. Really? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I would. This is really good. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I'm going to give it a 7.5. I like it dun, a lot. Dun, dun, dun. I'm telling you, Dave gives an Imperial IPA a higher score than me. That means it's a pretty good IPA, actually. I'm just being a little overly critical. Because um, I'm not crazy about the aftertaste, so I'm knocking off half a point for I that. I think... But anything over 6.5 is a really good beer, by the way. Yeah. We should always point that out. Because some I people say, why don't you give me a 10? I would buy this beer. I would buy this beer, too. And I would put half the case away for another day. Like, I thought, like six I thought it was 10% that you had to do. No, I was talking to somebody, and they say it all depends on the beer. Depends on but the beer. usually anything over 7.5. Oh, okay, great, nice. All right, well, for an uh, th and this being high as it is, it's like drinking, we're splitting one, so it's like having an entire beer each here. Yes, it is. So we're trying to drink responsibly. We believe I'm two sorry, I had six or seven beers, right? I can't remember the, how many I had. Yeah, that's like the officer. How many beers have you had? Well, does high ABV count, officer? Because two. in that case, it's like double. Mm. And they'll say, you're under arrest. You're small, SMR. <laughs> Another reference to another movie. And I think we're getting to the point where maybe we have to cut Dave off for tonight. But we got more beers to review. Cut Dave off? Right. Cut what off, Dave? But according to <laughs> the United States government, women should not drink alcohol while pregnant due to the risk of birth defects. People should not operate oh, heavy you. machinery, which means bless don't be driving you. if you've been drinking. If you're under 21, don't watch our channel. And don't drink... Alcohol because you're not 21. Oh, I love you, and that's pretty well standard these days. I love the puff cats and the, and the Sony cats and the squatchy cats. Awesome. Cats. Please subscribe to our channel. Sorry, people. We try to be funny. We're not always because we've been very serious about doing the beer reviews. I recently. am very serious. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Please share us. Comment below hey, if there's something we could be doing better. We'd love to hear from you because we're open to suggestions. Yes. If you watch our very first ones and watch how we evolved over time. We kind of got like a little format we're doing now, which quite frankly, I'm starting to get a little bored with. It takes me a while and has, but I've become much more better, better, better. -er. He's become much more better. Much more better. He still -er. hasn't taken his English class though. Better. -er. -er 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 -er. I wouldn't buy this. This actually. is all about having fun, but also being informative for you people to give you the. Because we're learning, we want you to learn too. And if you're as a beer you want to try, we like to think of this. Been the as another resource for people out there to make decisions. That has been the, th the theme of the night. I want to show you all I'm trying to do better for you. Absolutely. It's good to have a theme every night. Yes. And it's another beer cat down here. It's all the beer cats are They must here. be getting hungry. So there you have it. The reason we do this is we believe that you should drink great beer. And have a good laugh or two. With your friends. Right on. Thumbs up. <laughs> Sorry if people like out here. Here, you want the roller? I got the tape roller over here. Nose. It's the thing when you have a beard, it all catches up in your beard. Okay, well, that's why I don't have a beer. You can't grow a beer, can you? I can. You can? It just looks like Rachel Ghoul, though. Rachel Ghoul. Puff, do you want a treat? Mm -mm. Do you want a treat? Look at that cloud in her eyes. That's, that's something. Yeah, it's sad. Say bye, Dave. Bye, Dave.